Hello friends, welcome to this session. Today we'll see how we can create DevOps service connections so that we can connect to external devices where you can run your tasks defined in a job. You can see here, I am in Azure DevOps and this is my repository here. Once you're in your project, if you scroll down left corner, you will see project settings. And under project settings, you will have the service connections option. If you click that, you'll get option to create new service connections. Click this option. And here it gives lots of different ways where you can connect to different devices, whether you want to do connect to AWS, Bitbucket, Chef, some Docker, or even Azure uh, subscriptions. Uh, but I would like to show today a service connection to connect to Kubernetes. So if you scroll down here, you can see Kubernetes option. So I click this, I'll say next, and it gives three different authentication methods. One is kube config. This is nothing but the kube config which every user has to have on the client side. Using that, you can connect. A second one is service account. Now this service account will have a token which will never expire. So once you create a service account, it is something similar to your Windows services, which keeps running uh, and they have access to the resources which they need to run the task. So this is service account. And the third option is Azure subscription. So if you have a subscription to connect to Azure portal, then you can use that. But this session will focus on how to have this service account keep working. It requires server URL, which is nothing but your API server uh, URL for your cluster. And this defines the method with which you can get the secret uh, value for your service account. So I'll, I'll take you through these steps, how to get this, and then you can give a service name for that and save it. So before we can create anything here, we need to find this information, which we need to supply here. So we'll come back to this screen again. For now, we'll start with connecting to your cluster. So my cluster is running on local, the uh, component is control plane. And if I see what all namespaces I have, so you can see I have created a connect minus DevOps namespace. Other namespaces are system created. So leave that. Now in this particular namespace, so I will directly try to search for service account. And it shows that I have a DevOps Kubernetes service. So this is one of the service I've created. Find service account I've created in this namespace. Now, if we try to see some more details about this service account. So we'll see the YAML definition for the service account. And here you can see it has created a secret by name, this one. And we can now look into the secret. What's the value of this secret? So you can say a secret. And this is a secret. So it has got data, the cert, the namespace, it sets there and a token value. So this is a token value, it shows up here. And this whole data is what uh, we need to supply when we create the service connection. But to get to this secret, you have to just run one simple command to create the service account, which is nothing but kubectl create service account and name of the service account, let's say con Kubernetes service. Once you run something like this, this command, it will create the service account. But because I have already created the service account, I will not run this command and you can try this command. So once you have the secret value available, we will go back to the Azure DevOps and add this service account. So here I have already created service connection. I will edit this and show you what well, I provided. Now this server URL, you normally will get by using cluster info command, which I ran at the very beginning. <coughs> cluster info, kubectl. So this is the URL it is looking for to connect to your API server control plane. And once you supplied this, here you have to paste the token and make sure the token is actually in JSON format. So if you see this particular secret. So we'll see the secret value, but we'll output as a JSON format and then copy this whole data and provide it here. And when you tab out, 
and then you give the name connection any and you grant access to either one pipeline or all pipeline and save now your connection is created but you would realize that this service account cannot do anything in cluster because we haven't assigned it any role or any role bindings so we need to create a role i have created role so we can check the role which you need to create to assign to service account now this is a role and also a role binding and this is a role binding now this role and role binding definition uh, i will show you here this is a role here you have the name of the role and the namespace where it gets created the api groups it will have access to apps extensions now when you have to create deployments then you need to give access to apps and extensions resources i have given access to deployments pod services secrets and pod logs and it can do all these type of actions uh, using this role and in the role binding i have the name for the role binding the namespace uh, this is a service account kind and the service account name where it is assigned to and the role which is assigned is kind role and this role name so this way this role is assigned to this particular service account now once that is assigned and then the service now if the service connection when it's used in your pipeline can do that task uh, in the cluster to test that let's i will i will create one more role just for testing so it has created one more role and if you see there are two roles now one by name role one and i am going to try in the release pipeline i will edit this job so i'm using a kubectl delete task and i'll pass so in this particular task this is the name and i'm using service connection type i selected the service connection which i created provide the namespace on which it can act and i'm using delete command passing that delete this role called default dev role so if this works then that means this task and this pipeline is able to connect to my cluster and perform the actions using the service account so we'll create this release now one more thing to point out here and the agent is running locally on my laptop because my cluster is local so if my cluster is not local then i should have an access like api server endpoint which is accessible on net if that is available then you can use any type of build agent like microsoft hosted agent also to do the same operation right now delete is in progress waiting for the output and you can see here so it says the delete is completed i can verify this and try to search role again and you see there that role is missing now so it successfully use a service connection to connect to the cluster and then delete it i hope this way you understood how you can use service connection to connect to your kubernetes cluster thank you so much see you in the next session